Hi guys, so when I first started using YouTube, one of the first things I remember looking up were just tutorials and information about makeup brushes. And so I thought in this video, I'll share my favourite brushes as well as how I clean them um, and look after them as well. So by all means, you don't have to have brushes to apply makeup. Um, I guess, you know, you can use your fingers if you want to apply makeup, just use your hands, and I'm pretty sure that's how everyone really starts. Um, but personally, I like to use brushes because by using your hands, one, you carry a lot of bacteria um, because you use your hands daily, and then you're putting that into, rubbing that into products and putting it onto your face. And also, it's really hard to really get an even blend um, when you're using your hands to put to apply eyeshadow or anything like that. So the way I see it, makeup is like art. Um, if it's done correctly, you never know, you might get more compliments. Um, and also it hides imperfections and it kind of gives you a little bit more confidence as well. Um, so you can go on through your day. And like any artist, it's always good to have the right kind of tools. And by all means, I am not a makeup artist in any way. I'm just an enthusiast, I guess you could say. So I have picked up and purchased a lot of brushes along the way. But these are pretty much my favourites that I tend to go to and use a lot. So I'm going to go through in order of pretty much how I would apply it onto my face. So with the base foundation, I don't really wear much foundation. Um, I wear more mineral powders. So what people may use is a foundation brush that looks like this. Um, or kind of like a round, dense kabuki brush that looks like this to, pro um, to apply foundation. I personally don't apply foundation as much, so I don't... Um, tend to use these. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the foundation because it kind of feels like a paintbrush. You're just kind of painting, painting it on with a lot of streaks. Um, I find that, that something like this is a lot better because it's better when you um, apply it in a um, circle motion. But I personally, my favourite is this, which is the Body Shop Kabuki brush. And this, because it's a like a really dense brush, it's really good for um, applying mineral powder foundation. So you pretty much grab the powder and then you just apply in slow motions. So after I apply my face, then I'll go ahead and contour. So with my contouring, I like using this brush, which is the MAC 109 um, contouring brush. It's kind of a bit softer and it's got like a kind of like a dome shape um, brush. So it's really good for kind of doing circular motions and getting really into that jawline. I have been searching for kind of like a one that's slightly wider, which is similar to, I've got a NARS um, Ida Kabuki one, but I find the brushes aren't as soft. Um, so I still go back to this one for contouring my, mostly, mostly my cheeks and my jawline as well. I also use this brush, which is the Sigma Large Fluff Brush. I use this to contour my nose and also my eyes as well, just trying to get that crease. I wouldn't say it's my favourite, um, it's just a feeling I get when I use it. I wouldn't say I completely love this, but... I do use this because it's quite a big brush and means that it's easier and quicker for me to apply. For my blush and highlighting, I like to use angle brushes. And these are really good because it's on an angle. It follows your, I guess, your cheekbones a lot better um, to apply. My favourite, I can't decide on a favourite. I use a Coastal Scent one when it comes to highlighting. Um, there's really nothing special about this one. It's just good because of the shape and it does its job. But when it comes down to blush, I can't decide on the two. I love the MAC. Um, I think this is the 130 blush brush. Um, and I also like the Sigma one. The only difference is that I find the MAC picks up a lot more product, whereas the Sigma one picks up less. So it depends. If I want to apply more brush, I'll use the MAC. If I want it just slightly... Um, apply it, then I'll use the Sigma. So with my eyes, I have four favourite brushes, and the first one is this Soft Dome Brush, and this is the MAC 224, and I use this mostly applying just the corner, like powder on the corner of my eyes, and also my brow line as well. And it's a soft brush, so it's really good for blending as well. And then I've got the more dense dome brush, and this is a blending brush from, oh, this is Coastal Sense, hang on. I also have MAC and Sigma, 
um, which are all the same, but I originally started with a MAC, which I love, but I didn't think the Sigma one was as good as the MAC, but for some reason I'm using the Coastal set, which I didn't even notice, so I guess it's kind of similar to the MAC. Um, but yeah, this is really good because it's more dense, it's really good for blending um, the products as well. So this one is definitely my favourite. I've also got, um, this is a Sigma eyeshadow brush. Um, which is just a normal brush. It's more um, structured, I guess. So it's really good for kind of patting on eyeshadow on your lids. Um, and yeah, I like the bigger size because, you know, it just means that, you know, I can apply more than little bits. And then my favourite is for smudging is this MAC um, 219. And this is probably the best smudge brush I've ever used. So when you put like eyeliner on, especially on the bottom of my eyes, it tends to look very, I don't know, just when you apply eyeliner on, it kind of gives you a really nice solid line, but it doesn't really look natural. So I use this to kind of go through and just smudge it so it kind of blends in and looks a lot more natural. If that makes sense. So for my eyebrows, my favourite is this Coastal Scent um, Brow Brush. I don't know whether you can see it, but this is pretty much an angle brush. And I've got a whole lot of different sizes, but I always tend to use a larger one only because I don't have the patience. So I just pretty much grab the um, eyebrow product and just kind of go through and shade the outside before I go through and color the inside. But this one would have to be my favorite. Um, also to mention as well, along with brushes, another thing that I think everyone should really have in their makeup kit are these blending brushes. Um, this one looks disgusting because I use this one daily. I haven't actually used this one yet. But this is really good, especially when you put powder, like any foundation on your face. The end I like to use to kind of blend that in. You're not really dragging it, so you're not kind of moving the product around. You're kind of giving it a really nice pat on the face to kind of give it a really nice blend. And then I use the tips of it to blend in my under eyes and get that done. But this is by far... Definitely recommend everyone have this in your kit because it works really well at blending. And these aren't actually brushes, but I guess they're tools that also come in handy. One is this um, eyelash curler. This is the Shimura, um eyelash curler because one, I have really short stubby lashes that don't curl. And these ones come really helpful trying to get that curled. And another one is a tweezer, which I use to apply... Um, false eyelashes and they come in really handy as well. Those are my favorite makeup brushes. Um, I don't have a big variety of brands. I have mostly Sigma, MAC or Coastal Scent and Real Techniques and a bit of NYX here and there as well. Um, as I said, I'm not a makeup artist so there's no need for me to really go and experiment if I found a brush that works really well for me. Um, but yeah, so what I'll do now is I'm just going to show you how I clean my brushes. For spot cleaning, I use two different products. The first one is the Brush with Success Conditioning Brush Cleaner, and this is by Mecca Cosmetics. And the second one is the MAC Brush Cleanser. So if I'm using the same brush twice, I can use this to clean on the spot. For a thorough clean, I grab a little container, something like this, and it's just pretty much to mix the detergent together. And then what I use is a baby shampoo and conditioner. Um, this works really well to clean the brushes. And it's also quite sensitive as well, so it won't um, damage the brushes. So I just put a little bit of that in. And I also add in a bit of antiseptic, something like Dettol or something like this from Coles. And this is pretty much to kind of get rid of the bacteria, but you only need a little bit because it does smell a lot so just a little drop just to kind of give it an extra cleanse now when I purchased the brushes from Sigma they also sent me this little cleaning thing which is similar to the mittens that they sell normally so what I do is I grab the dirty brush and then I just mix that into the little detergent that I've made up and then run that into a little bit of water just to give it enough to make it foam up a bit when I clean it. And then I grab the little matte thing and just rub it through onto its little um, different patterns um, to help it clean. And then rinse that in water and clean it some more. Um, pretty much continue doing this until the foam is running clear um, and the water is running clear of any makeup. 
Once that's done, pretty much give it a quick squeeze to get rid of any excess water and then your brush is pretty much clean at this point. You can just leave it to dry. But what I use are these travel storage cleaning protectors. So I grab the one that's my size and then I put that through the brush head and then flip it through just to kind of protect its shape pretty much. So you can stand that up and leave it hanging to dry or you can place it down. With the brushes it's important not to put the um, actual brush bit facing up because then the water will run down and kind of loosen up the glue that holds the brushes together. Um, but yeah, so pretty much repeat these steps with the other brushes. As you can see when it comes to liquid or cream products they tend to get more dirty. Um, so as you can see it's really really dirty but then you just keep kind of cleaning it until the water runs clear and then yeah um, so that's pretty much it these little travel things I can't remember where I purchased it from I think I purchased these from Coastal Sense and they were pretty cheap so they come in handy to keep its shape as well but you can always put it aside like this um, to leave it out to dry Now for the brushes, you can use the same um, detergent, but what I've purchased is this um, detergent for puffs and sponges, I'm pretty sure. Um, the rest is written in Japanese, I don't know what that means, but it's from Daiso. And I just put a bit of it on the sponge and also rub it in with a bit of water and just kind of keep massaging it in my hand until all the dirt comes out of it and just keep running that under water until it runs clear. Now with this whole cleaning process, I try to clean my brushes once a fortnight. So I do have quite a lot of brushes, so it is a bit time consuming, which is why I try to do it all at once. Um, because it's only me using these brushes, I don't feel the need of having to clean them as frequent as normal. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope you found this really helpful or useful in any way. Let me know in the comments below what your favourite brushes are. Um, and also, please give me a thumbs up if you like this, and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Thank you. Bye.